Hello all, welcome back to our channel. So students, in this video, we will discuss the short explanation of unit number 1 in statistics for management, okay? So in part A, 2 marks weightage you will get from unit number 1. Definitely, it will be a theory question only, okay? The first important question you are having, ma, define statistics and its features, okay? So in long also, we have already learned what is definition of the statistics. So that statistics was defined by many authors okay uh, it was in a singular sense statistics denote some statistical method and in plural sense it refers to some numerical data or statistical data in singular sense what uh, they have discovered means it is some of the methods which we are using to find out the solution and in plural sense what it is said means it is a numerical data or a statistical data like numeric numbers we will find no like different authors were defined statistics in different terms okay what is the features of it it will aggregate the information complete information it will collect the information it is uh, segmented into the numerical formats means in numbers in one two three four like that it will be collected okay and high standard of accuracy will be there in the statistics okay next question statistical dip independence see ma for two marks five to six lines is more than enough okay what is the statistical independence means those events whose occurrence has no effect on the occurrence of any other event the happening or not happening of any event does not affect the happening of another event for example if a coin is tossed two times successfully the outcome of second tossing would not affect the outcome of first tossing no when we toss the coins two times you are tossing a coin so second tossing coin will not be having any affected with the first one right see both are difference only that is called statistical independence next one you are having additional theorem of probability addition theory of probability is nothing about the two things you are having ma mutual exclusive events non mutual exclusive events mutual exclusive events is nothing about the formula okay both cannot occur same time okay when both cannot occur same time we can say that the mutual exclusive events if both occur at the same time we can call it as a non mutual exclusive events you want to remember the formulas and you need to put that formulas into the booklet okay next one you are having what do you mean by kurtosis in statistics okay what is this my uh, it is nothing about the it is a degree of peakedness of a distribution usually taking to a relative to a normal distribution means whatever the frequency we are distributing whatever the things we are doing in the statistics like central tendency like mean median mode skewness dispersion standard deviation so it all enables to predict the whatever the data you are having in an organization it will predict that that is the thing about the statistics in kurtosis next important question you are having ma joint probability joint probability is simple two or more independent events are simultaneously performing that is called joint probability okay so in other words what it can be seen as a two marginal probabilities occurring in a same suggestion is called joint probability okay so this question is also important question okay next and the last question you are having ma base theorem applications of base theorem you are having so what are the applications of base theorem is nothing about the whatever the future events will happen in an organization it will able to predict that okay it is one of the powerful statistical method tool it will help to the management to take the effective decision makings it will help you to take the probabilities and whatever the uh, profitability is there in an organization it will be helpful to you all okay so like this questions you are having in unit number four and for two marks i hope that you have got clarity if you're having any further doubts let me know in the comment section see you all in the next video bye bye everyone